we are all in this market to make money but let's not forget that majority of those who trade lose their money now when i say majority it's not just 60 percentage it on goes up to 90 percentage so if you are here to make money you need to understand how it is initiated how it all starts and how you make profits so in this market only one thing is the key and it's not only in any markets if you are there as an investor to make more money on your capital you do have to understand what's happening in this market say we were talking about this when we were highlighting like there is a possibility that the BTC dominance is about to break to the downside and then later on I followed on and informed my members that yes we are breaking to the downside so you know these are something you need to keep in your mind say uh, at the same time I was also highlighting this for XRP where I'm like okay we need to break this RSI is ma already breaking higher MACD is breaking higher then you go look at the uh, XRP chart you see like okay we broke higher that's a great thing we broke higher so if you put that into perspective you are getting the RSI which broke higher like this you came you retested and you moved above so now what do you expect price broke higher it should come down retest this and bounce as you saw here in the RSI so that's an a four hour chart yes I agree that's short term so we step on to a daily chart which is a little bit giving you more room for medium term and here it is about to break higher so if BTC remains as it is without having much movement and you see all coins move say XRP 6 percentage up BTC 0.4 percentage up that's a sign now you get this kind of stuff and if you are able to break above your current moving average that means now you have room to ride till this point so that's another resistance I agree but you do have room to run here and that means here on the XRP USD one you know you are at a multi-year support and you are getting bounce buyers are entering here buying more and what you should be keeping in your mind is see this is where your RSI is and where is it where it is actually bouncing so now you go through the history and see what was happening before how many times in history we came there very very little time if you look at that it's tiny bit of time frame in last two years right and each time when you were there those who bought in near that zone you can look at the price here as I move the arrow you can see that right so here the RSI is at the bottom the price is at the bottom mm -hmm. RSI came to the bottom it was rounding back up price was near the support you bought in you make money again the RSI came lower the price was below the moving average and the support even at that time when it was near the oversold of area if you bought there you made money again you came back down the price is here in the sub near the support and the RSI is at the zone ah, you made money so automatically this gives you an idea of what to look at in the market but the problem is you do need a ton of patience right if you bought here or even here you definitely had to wait until this point or some way close to take a lot of profits now that's XRP USD so as you move on and look at BTC dominance it really gets interesting here now I'll discuss and take you guys through this but definitely understand one thing when people say okay we only have one more wave up I really want to show you why I think we have two more waves in this cycle for all coins BTC is gonna do this and that means we are gonna have our wave 2 not wave 3 meaning the final blow of the top I'll explain why I think so welcome to the scientific investor family where we discuss crypto and science behind investing regularly so if you look at these days we were talking about is a possible worst day coming in is a bear market for BTC in or if BTC is to bounce or stay here or go to bear market what the alts will be doing 
So if you really want that idea, you can watch this one and you're going to get that clarity there. So now when you come back to these markets and understand, okay, this is Ether. Now I'm not a big fan of it, but if you are looking at what we are doing here, you went up, came back. So that was resistance. You went up again, you got rejected. But this time when you got rejected, if you look at the total rejection, you can see that you were traveling in between parallel lines. And most of the time, that's a correction. If you buy in there, the price goes up, you make profit. So it depends on the angle of that channel. So here you are getting definitely another parallel lines where you're consolidating and it's still thing to the upside compared to this one. Now you look at the MACD and you're like, okay, fine. What do you have there? It's a double bottom in the MACD. And if you cross here and move up, that's a lot more bullish than others because here if you are looking you are seeing a inverse head and shoulder and you broke higher right so if you are plotting that now you can take this in the price you can take this in the rsi in the macd it's completely up to you and it depends on what type of trader or investor you are because if you are looking for a confirmation you do look in the indicators not only in the price but also in the indicators and once you get this you're like fine boom we are going to go to the upside right similarly you are getting that double bottom textbook double bottom pattern here now that's on the macd now you go in to look at what the rsi is showing you right and you're like okay fine this <coughs> was a bottom now we extended to this bottom your line is extending that now what is happening right now your price is moving even higher so the recent low then come to the long-term support it's moving higher meaning what is the price doing it's closer to the resistance so chances are high that it can break this range and move higher why because rsi has a long room to the upside in between it does have a tiny sub resistance here but it do have a lot of space upside so you are at resistance and you're breaking this that's great news because you come down here and look at this you were close to the resistance price was retesting the bottom and then it went up it broke higher it continued higher so you went from three thousand dollar all the way up to five thousand dollar right that's what happened in ether so now you look at bdc dominance you can actually see one step for clear right you had a cross which is a bearish cross so it's a 50 day moving average crossing downside to the 200 day moving average which we call a death cross which is a bear signal but if you have listened to my videos you already understand it's not when you get the death cross you go downside it's after your retest you get a death cross or a golden cross you come back retest the moving average zone get rejected and then go down so if you look at this one here, now we don't have the accuracy here because we don't have that 200 day moving average extending here. But keeping this trend line, you can say is we crossed to the downside here, but the price came back to retest that moving average zone and then got rejected. So if that is the case, that means this one, this big drop here, the wave two in the market and then the wave three is still pending. We haven't yet reached that level of volatility in the market. So when we see 1000x in some small coins, micro cap coins, medium cap coins and all, understand this is about to happen in large cap coins as well. Now, it's not 200 billion market, it's $2.5 trillion market. So you just ballooned there in the capital, which can move into the large cap coins. So now when you come back, to the xrp chart where people say okay a lot of them are losing money understand it's not that way if you bought the top yes you lose money but if you're buying at support it is not that way now when you come on to check it the xrp bdc on a four hour you get a bullish stuff on a daily you are like okay we are going back up but on a macro level when you are looking at a three day or a weekly chart this really gets interesting because you know if you say like okay if the shit hits the fan i want to be prepared you don't 
buy into the coins which are you know it's sky high because if you're thinking about moon you know you already reached that level and your roi from there would be less so if you want us roi in your portfolio rather than looking at one asset doing 1000x and say you entered after 950x you get 50x right not 100 not 1000 it depends on where you enter so in that case if you buy here it's something like this you're buying at the bottom close to the bottom but the issue is what you need to reach till the top is patience because the most important stuff if you are a value investor you find value in this asset seeing that it has a ton of fundamentals it's evolving investors are there developers are there you know brain power is increasing the leaders from all the industries moving into the and all those stuff you're like okay fine that is where i want to be because that's value for my money currently the price is like 0.86 mm -hmm, dollar and I think the value is ten dollar. I think the value is twenty dollar. I think the value is hundred dollar. In that case, you're buying here. But the problem is, you need to wait until the price reaches your targets, and that's pain, because a lot of them don't have that. A majority of them lose money because they come in to do that short term, you know, profit taking stuff, where it becomes super hard. For the majority because the majority always try to make money in the short term because you know they get the information from media way it's not only about investing it's about you know making money from advertising for them but you know that's one of the reason you can actually look at the news media and check what is the narrative they are setting you if you see a narrative and you understand okay this is what they want to tell you and this is what you see in the price now you have better understanding because you know they are mostly giving you misinformation right so if you are looking at xrp you know the doomsday prediction for xrp scc hammering it and all and you see the price still hovering about this resistance and then you know it is still holding on to the support on a long-term basis and you see like you know whenever you have a trend where you are moving to the upside moving to the upside gradually it's being accumulated now who would do that patient investors they have long time to spend on any asset and they wait inside that asset and accumulate that asset the price goes up they take profit so that's very long term who makes money but the important factor there is patience but if you enter into a wrong asset because this asset class has a ton of assets right you go in and look at a lot of different assets you know we've talked about many of them saying i don't think it's a good place to be in from january this year this is december we are ending this year now this is not xrp believe me there is a lot of other assets where we told like okay this would be the high we may not go much higher than this even if you enter and it goes higher you'll get 30 40 50 percentage max in that case you shouldn't be in crypto you should be targeting at least 10x in crypto market that's why you are here this is the volatile asset class so if you are here for 20 percentage good luck but i think silver gold or others would be much better for you if your risk tolerance is less but if you enter into some assets which has done enormously well understand it may not do well that's why you know we try to give you that perspective showing you what this is going to do what we are going to see you know if we go look at a lot of different assets say for example you come here and you look at uh, the well performed coins in last 24 hours you see a lot of different coins now within that range you are also watching different coins with volume and without volume so just entering there is not enough entering there making money and getting out is the important stuff if you are trading and to know that you need a ton of stuff so that's why we actually try to provide you with all this information when there is a lot of hype you do have to understand what the hype stands for you do have to understand what the market is about to do because what the market is about to do is going to be majority of the times it's going to be the right stuff so you kind of look at different stuff say for example you look at the altcoin market cap 
in the altcoin market cap what you would be recognizing is oh god you need a ton more of patience why you see on the macro you are still inside that trend where you know you are kind of you know standing with that pattern you're doing this see we can remove this because the price is now consolidating more and if you go on a three day chart you're going to see the same pattern but the difference is we just talked about this right if you are inside a parallel line if you are moving inside the parallel line most likely it's a correction so yes we had this pattern where we were having a rounded bottom then followed by that you had another one which makes it looks like a cup and handle pattern after that you broke to the upside which is not bad which is actually a great news a good news and you are hovering above that so that's a retest and in a corrective phase so what do you think is going to happen because if you are going into different assets say for example you look at uh, zilliqa and when you look at zill you also understand that okay price do play a lot of stuff like this so you can definitely see that we moved inside parallel lines now that was painful duration for a lot of people when they were actually dealing with this but it blasted through now when you were moving up you know before that 0.26 you, while you were even below a cent like what even below 0.1 you know at 9 cents to 6 cents you were consolidating again in parallel lines so those who accumulated during that time and had patience to wait till the top made that money now that's a three day chart so when you zoom out you again see that's not big deal that was short term that was short term if you bought in here or here or even here now we are not in profit but now we understand it's at multi-year support level so that's another ideology there right so you generally look at a lot of different coins and make sure that you are reaching an area where you definitely understand what the price is about to do so first you go look at the rsi where it is and look at what that history shows you so there were times when it was support there were times when it was resistance there were time again when it was support so that's a support resistance zone which you are in and generally speaking you are trending slowly to the upside fine so if you put that into perspective even most of the assets in this asset class is going to do well but there are some which has already reached 90 percentage of its cycle or say 70 percentage of its market cycle now if it's to do 5000 x in this cycle and it has already done 2000 or 1000 it doesn't have what you need it's like 3 to 5 x and it's done so you have to choose the assets correctly so now when you go to see the bitcoin chart not the bitcoin dominance or uh, you know all coin chart the bitcoin chart i know people are calling for bear market now it's their opinion while they look at the market they see that it's all fine but unless you break this trend and move down that is hard now what that's one of the reason why we uh, did post a lot of charts saying you know now i know it is really 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 important to know whether we are breaking down whether we are going into a bear market and all what is your support that's the most important question right if you know that this is your support uh, and you kind of you know look at that and you believe that it's fine say two days back we were actually talking about this like the possibilities are you need to go back up you need to you know break that otherwise you're not going to the upside and then if you look at the bdc price what happened is you actually moved up then we told there should be a retest most of the time that's how the market works and that's why if you look at the btc now this is not that long term chart but this is the short term chart if you hold this support that's fine but if you don't you can come to this low or this low or even hit to the downside so when you are talking about all these you definitely definitely have to understand market gives you signals it gives you an idea of what it can do and if it's doing that you should understand there is a possibility of downside as well so in a bull market if you are saying oh there is going to be a downside i'm moving out that may not be the right thing in the bull market what you see is there can be a downside do i have dry powder to buy in at that time so if you break here and btc you're going down 
to the support. I agree, 40, 42,000 range. But if you don't, you're going to bounce, right? So you have a trend line, but even that trend line, if you plot two lines here, it's a parallel line. So you are in a correction where your impulse is to the downside. That's a four of a chart. I agree. But your impulse is to the downside. You get a price correction where you're in parallel lines. So chances are high that you may break. But your moving average, if it can support the price, it would go up. Keep a note on your price. If it's bouncing, great. You're looking for 53, 54. And if you're breaking higher, perfect. Why? Because most of the time in a bull market, you get bearish traps. Don't get into it saying, okay, that's the bear. Now it's completely up to you, but that's my viewpoint and what I see in this market because that's, now what I showed you is a photo of a chart to show you short term, right? That's literally written short term outlook for BTC. But when you come on, look at the weekly, you are like, okay, fine. That's a long way up. Now we don't know whether it's going to do that, but we also understand that if you connect these lines properly and extend it, you do get resistance way before that. Fine. But still, you do have chances that you're going to retest that level, 130, 140. But say an average of 120, 125,000 dollars Bitcoin can be there. Now, yeah, the ROI is not much high, but it still shows you you can double your money. It's way better than if you're in the bank. But if you're in crypto, ask that question. Is that what you are in for? If not, repeat the process. Go find good assets where you see a ton of value. Because if you are not having that aspect, finding coins with value, it's going to be hard to make enormous ROI on your capital. So guys, if you received value for your time, please do hit that like and subscribe button. That supports the channel a lot. And if you want these kind of updates for a lot of different assets, which we regularly do, look at the Patreon. The link is given in the description below. You can talk to me. You can ask what assets you have in your portfolio. I'll do the charts for you. If you are in proper tier, we'll also have one-on-one -on -one sessions. We'll discuss through your portfolio what changes we can do to rebalance it in a way that when the next bull market comes, meaning the next wave up, you are positioned in the way that you get maximum ROI. Those who are here from a year, they were prepared for the April, May wave up. Now, most of them are ready for the wave two. But unless you shake your portfolio, you change that balance, you know, you can say that, okay, that guy didn't know well. But if you didn't change your portfolio and you are going up, that's great, right? Now, the market is about to do that and we get the sign from the market that it is doing that. And if you are in that, that's great. So, guys, that's all. And I'll meet you on the next video. Bye for now.